What's up? We're back. So, I figured we'd do some uh, regular quests today. I'm kind of jumping all over the place. You know, I, I did Team Quick Quest uh, a little while ago, but uh, I figure I'm going to do a uh, loop of Stalker quests and see how many we can get done pretty quick. They're all basic quests that you can do. And these are all daily quests. Um, so we're going to do the Backpack Quest. And th these are, you know, good for newer players. So the Backpack Quest is pretty quick. Uh, and we're going to get a free backpack for this. So if you're fresh out of uh, the first city, then this will be a good one for you. You can get a better backpack than the one you start out with. Um, I forget what that damn thing's called. That little old bag. It's, uh... And I'm not even going to try to... It starts with a K. My friend always calls it the potato sack. With a ball sack backpack. Um, but anyway, it's basically the equivalent to a sports bag. A, a, not a large sports bag, but a small sports bag. And you can get it for free by doing this quest over here for this guy. That we're heading to right now. So if you're fresh out to sea, it's a, a good one for you. So I run out of stamina. It's a zombie, bro. Shoot it in the head. You got this. Like. You good? You yeah, don't. There you go. Okay. Alright. So I believe this is checkpoint three that you'll come out of when you're at the first city. Um, as soon as you come out of checkpoint three, you're going to end up hanging a left here. Thought he was shooting at me for a second. You get a lot of beginner players try to mess around in this area. Alright, so as soon as we come out of uh, gate 3 over here by Trapper, we're just going to run over here to this building in between. There's this little campfire back here. I'll give you the grid coordinates in a minute. This is part of the stalker loop, which is a secret quest where you got to get your stalker rep up to like 27,000 or some ungodly number. Uh, shall we get one more backpack? Wait here. Anonymous backpack. Now, so, where are we? Uh, Golf 13, Grid 2, Keypad 5-ish, I would say, right here. So, this is the guy we're going to talk to, and the backpack, the anomaly backpack, it's in a refrigerator over here at Foxtrot 12, right in the center. And it's, it, it couldn't be simpler, really. I mean, we're just going to accept his quest. We're going to run over here to this refrigerator. We're going to check the refrigerator and come back and we get a free backpack. It's not guaranteed on the first time. Every time I've, I've made a new character and I've done this quest, I got a backpack on my first try, but my brother did it and he got it on his second try, so it's not always guaranteed to get a free backpack. Let me trade my dogs off onto you. And here we are. Come up. Quest automatically updates. Click on it. Backpack quest is updated. Uh, we have our quest item now. And we're going to go back and give the backpack to the guy. He's going to check it. And sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. But. Very quick, very simple. I almost walk into an anomaly. I mentioned previously, so you see, uh, you see those 
tree, those fallen trees, if you actually climb up those fallen trees and jump into the gate, it will, there's a teleporter there that'll take you through the wall into the city. It's like a backdoor way to get in. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. Okay, I have brought the backpack. This one is empty too. Let's try again tomorrow. No backpack. Yeah. That's that. This is the old arena over here. This used to be the PvP arena, but now the PvP arena is all done through the board. And it physically teleports you to the arenas instead of being inside of there. The garbage quest. I've never done this, but I should do that one day. Okay, so our next quest. Let's see what order we're going to go in. Uh, we'll probably come over here to Grishkovich. He's got a very simple quest. Let's see what our reward was on that one. Nine thousand rubles. A little bit of uh, Stalker's Empire. It's nice. It's daylight for once. You know, usually when I'm trying to do something, it seems like it's always nighttime in this game. Daytime and good weather, it's not pouring raining. Grishkovich is going to be another quick and easy quest. What forest? All right, I'll take a look. So noise in the woods is pretty simple. We just have to come over here to the swamp, right where I got this. Uh, so what is this? Um, can't even speak. Yeah, M14, uh, grid 2 here, right in the center. There's no physical point uh, there's not an item that we're going to click on or nothing like that you just have to kind of get in the center of the grid and look for that green text to pop up on the side of the screen so we're going to get there and we're, we're you, you, when you get that green writing to pop up you, you can leave a, a, a marker there and just uh, you know these are all daily quests you can do these every 24 hours to help you level up. They don't give you a whole lot of XP or a whole lot of money, but you know something's better than nothing. So usually I'll get on. I'll go do my all my daily quests, my rounds, um, and then go out and do a little bit of farming. If I can get a couple guys together, it'd be nice to do an event like the volcano event or uh, concave. There's Flying Stones. It's a daily clan base, so every 24 hours you can capture that base. I mean, it's really only useful for farming sages over that hill and uh, attacking chemical base, chemical burial. So... Saturday through Thursday, you know, most people don't even mess with it unless they want to use it as a farm base for the low level sages. 
I would like to go into science lab, but my reputation with uh, the mercenaries is terrible right now. And I need to get that up before so I can finish a quest. So, Hare over here, remember him. We're about to do a quest for Dirty Yuri after this, where we're going to have to run to that guy. So you can see my little exclamation point down there. We're just going to kind of get in the center of this grid. And I'm just running in circles. There we are, right here. So right about uh, just below my map marker. Now that we got, uh, there's nothing here, just normal animals. We gotta run back to Grishkovich. Check in with him. So these two guys, we're gonna come back to. Kind of going in reverse order. Usually I go clockwise. I'm kind of going counterclockwise for my stalker rep quest. Oh, come on. And I left all my roast rats at Gourmet. Damn it. I'm be burning through more injectors. I just set the good old auto run. So much running in this game. I, I'm like torn. I kind of wish there was more guides to fast travel you between maps, but at the same time, it's kind of part of the struggle. Maybe just a couple more guides. But I definitely wish the truck went to more locations, but the truck's kind of expensive. I don't get why he goes from gate 1 to gate 2. And it's like 30,000 rubles to go from gate 1 to gate 2. What's that all about? That boar gave up pretty quick. Ah, he's still coming. It's all the forest. It's just an ordinary forest. Got some pieces of moss. 2400 experience. 1200 survive. Okay. And just over a thousand rubles. Like I said, they're low level quests. Really good if you're just starting out and you're trying to get XP. So, you know, if you're under level 9. I mean, I still do these quests just to get stalker rep to balance my uh, my reputations with the different factions. If you do a whole lot of, I, I did a lot of retired colonels quests so I could buy a VSS, and now my reputation with the Mercs is really bad. I got to do. Uh, quest for them to finish unlocking Vanya, I'm like halfway through Vanya's quest. And to complete my quest for Vanya, I gotta get my mercenary rep so I can get into scientist camp. Talk to Tackleberry, I think it is. So balancing your reputation is definitely something that, uh, it's a big factor. I just got lazy. I didn't feel like uh, 
I just kept doing Colonel's quests and then logging off and not going and doing other quests to balance it out. So now I'm going to have to run a bunch of other quests. Where am I going? Ah, yes. It, well... Grishkovich, yeah, it's kind of, Grish is kind of the halfway point, so to get up to Dirty Yuri, we can either go up the side of this mountain, right about here to get up to Dirty Yuri, or we can run all the way back and go up this here, so Grishkovich is, so it's kind of 50-50. I was headed in the right direction, and but forgot where I was going. So this is Dirty Yuri. And he's got one of the easiest quests that... I don't know if there's an easier quest than Dirty Yuri's quest. It's just running. I mean, a lot of these quests is running, but... We don't even have to kill anybody. We don't have to go back and talk to them. Oh, an artifact. Look at this. I got a pillow A. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna beat myself to the wall. Come on. How do I get sucked into that? Yeah, see, back in the day, there used there wasn't a uh, wall around the anomalies. So if you got sucked in, you just got sucked in. Now there's this artifact wall that you run into, and when you hit that wall, uh, it gives you a good amount of damage. I had my <clears throat> I had my cursor off. I'm trying to jump. Oh, hey, what's going on? We're gonna take this artifact and equip it. So I got three extra slots open here. I don't have a container on me, but just in case I die, at least you know it's a little bit of pocket change right there. And I'm broke as this, you know. 8kk. I'm poor. Which sounds like a lot, but I mean, it's, it, won't, it won't last you long. I mean, if I, if I was running a different gun, you know, 8kk would last a while, but, you know, running a VSS is a little expensive. Alright, so here's Dirty Yuri. Take care of these first. Alright, so Dirty Yuri. Pretty simple. He just wants us to go talk to a guy and tell him to get his ass home. Uh, what do you want? You have the proper boots. How fast can you run? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all, send him back here. You can kick his ass if needed. <laughs> so, that guy we saw before, Hair. It's, we just have to run to him and tell him to go home. We got 15 minutes to do it. it ain't gonna take 15 minutes. It's gonna take like two. Sometimes there's a brown bear up here, but uh, I haven't seen him yet. When I first started playing this game, I threw a lot of rocks, but after a while, you know, you pick up on the telltale signs of the 
anomalies. I mean, usually, I would say like nine times out of ten, you hear the anomalies before you ever see them. They all make their own individual noises. If it's an IR fire anomaly, you'll usually see heat ripples in front of you. Leaves blowing around if it's a gravity or wind anomaly. And if you see leaves blowing, you know how big the, you know, the anomaly is, so you can just navigate without having to throw any rocks. Okay. Little hair. Quiet. Go home. Yuri's worried. Quickly. And that's that. What do I get from that? Uh, and then not doing my mercenary status any good. 2,400 points. Did I get any money? No, no money. And just reputation off of that one. Okay. Okay, Magical Swamps is up next. While I'm there, I can show you a little trick for uh, farming Verlocks. There's a couple quests you got to do on Swamp Island. Oh, there's Mr. Bear. Let's kill this bear. So what we're going to do is we're going to let Mr. Bear come to me. Ready my weapon, wait for him to rise up. And see, I was uh, hip firing him. You got to kind of know the offset too. I don't know if I explained this before, but so you can see where that dot is on my screen, my center point, and then look where the rounds are actually impacting. They're down to the left. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but so when you hip fire, you have to take that into account. But if I actually aim down my sights, I can see that uh, my weapon's pointed where the bullet holes are hitting. But my center dot kind of moves over. So you got to remember that when you're hip firing. The bear, he's got three different hit boxes. His body is like regular damage. Hitting him in the face and the head is high damage. And then right under, uh, you know, over from his armpit there, right where the heart would be, is a high damage zone. A big high damage zone. His eyeballs and his mouth is, is a high damage zone also, the same as where the heart is, but uh, they're tiny and you're not going to hit that. So if you just do what I do, wait for him to rear up and then nail him right there in the heart, you can drop him with one mag from pretty much anything. And next best from that would be hitting him in the head, but hitting him in the head can a lot of times take two mags. But uh, body shots is what you don't want to do. It takes a lot of body shots to bring down a bear. Especially if you're fighting polar bear. Thought I was going to miss that one. So we're coming over here. Let me stop before I walk into this. I'm gonna go around Science Lab so I don't get KOS'd. I'm going to go into Emirac. I think I started this quest yesterday, but I got busy and quit. Yes, yeah, see, we got an IR anomaly right here. I, I really need my roast rats. I'm just constantly running out of stamina. I'm going Mr. Boar. Cut through Dirty Yuri here to lose the pigs. I mean, yeah, I could kill him, but it's just not worth the repair for me, personally. And that guy decided to kill him. I really should get, like, a, I don't know, AKM or something like that, but just... I don't feel like the extra carrying the extra weight. Ow. Got distracted by the bear that's over there in the field. 
I'm just running through this anomaly field. I hate that hill. I really do. There's so many of those IRR anomalies up there. When uh, I was helping a clan defend Hill Village, Dolg was coming out of uh, this village here, and we were just constantly uh, getting cooked by those. So you come to this guy. Okay, yeah, I did already take the quest. It's called, uh, what is it, Magic Swamps? Yeah, Magic Swamps. So this is your quest you got to do where he wants us to go explore this island over here at M8. Where's my anti-rad? <laughs> I love anti-rad. I love it. Uh, it's just seriously my luck. All right, so anyway, right here where I got my marker, Lima 8, grid 3, 4-ish. I'm going to head over there, and there's a teleport anomaly that we're going to use to get onto the center of M8. Uh, and there's a couple other teleport anomalies once we get onto the island. We're looking for like a special Sylvan that's never there. Alright, so right about here we're going to start seeing some wavy lines. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to see, but you can kind of... It looks like a heat ripples. So that's the teleport anomaly. So we're just going to run into that. Well, actually, let me... Okay. Full mag. We're good to go. And it's going to teleport me over to that island over there. That's going to have probably 20 spiders and maybe a half a dozen verloc. Um, most people are going to die instantly. But it looks like somebody already did the quest and cleared the island out. So I got lucky. I mean, my armor's better than, you know, uh, usually I don't have an issue with it. And so once we're on the island, we got the quest update, we're good to go. There's, uh, now I if uh, there are, you know, hundreds of spiders and verlocs on here and you don't want to die, just remember. So once I got teleported in, to get teleported off, there's different teleporters all around this island. So we can see there's a teleporter there. Uh, there should be a teleporter over here. There's three or four different teleport. Yeah, there's another teleporter right there. And a lot of them just backtrack you. Like if I run into uh, one of them, it's just going to throw me on this side of the island, from that side of the island to the, you know, the other side of the island. But I know this teleporter over here uh, takes me uh, down here uh, to the Swamp Island over at November 10. So we're going to run into this teleporter right here. Oh, wait. Huh? Uh, they change on me again? Should be that one. That's where my map marker is. I really hope they didn't, uh... I heard spiders. Oh, wow. What is this all about? That's the one I've always used. Okay. I didn't know they changed. I guess they changed. Alright. What's behind door number two? Is it out here? It is right, right here. Let's see where this one goes. Okay. That's a first. Alright, so we got... this. I believe everybody here is like runs off a of bandit rep. And now that we're over here at uh, November 10 on Swamp Island, uh, there's some bridges that we can use to run back to Emirac. And we're, we're off that island so we don't have to swim or run through over here where the spider cocoons are. While I'm here, there's uh, a quest you can do that pays out. It's uh, I'll, uh, the beginner quest directs you here because it's where you can get a hunting knife for free or for dirt cheap. And it's by this guy Skinner here. Uh, so you can see I got 1855 personal credits for this guy. 
And you can use it to buy stuff like tungsten ammo, so it's one personal credit per tungsten. Or 35 personal credits for this hunting knife, and it's 135,000 rubles for a hunting knife. So it's not bad, and it's actually very easy to get personal credits for this dude. He buys verloc parts. So... I think this guy right here uh, gives you the uh, Verloc quest where you got to do the 300. Now the cool part about the 300 is do it with friends or people with a squad. So if you come out here and you decide to start killing Verlocs and you see other people, ask them if they want to squad up. Because uh, you personally only need to kill, it's between 60 to 80, maybe 100 Verlocs. So you only got to kill like 80 of them, I think yourself uh, but if you're in a squad with like three or four other people if they kill verlocs those kills from your squad mate count towards your total 300 so we're gonna walk over here past this tree and this is a great place for farming verlocs if you're a low rank because there's a little trick you can do with the safe zone uh, we're gonna look out here into the distance and we can see ourselves a verloc out there and let me, uh, uh, there we go. We got a VSS, so there's a little bit of drop off there. I'm just going to hit that guy one time, which is going to piss him off, and he's going to start heading my way, usually with a group of friends. Looks like he might be running away. Usually they come towards you, that's kind of weird. All right, well, let me see if I can spot any more verlocs out there. And I want to do all the farming from right here in this island. I want to leave. Other people do run around the swamp, and if the farm spots get crowded and there's a bunch of other people here, yeah, you can run out there and farm them. But I'm going to try and do it all from right here. That's usually what I do. Man, they are all dead. I don't see any. that one guy and he, and he noped the hell out of here after I hit him once. Which is weird because usually they come at you. Ah, here we go. Uh, you. Come, come on. Come to me. There we go. There's one there. This way. Alright. Verlocs and mail. So, very important. Run right here and stay behind this tree, I believe. It's like right about here. Stay behind this tree, and they're going to come at me. Right. And I like to try to tag them a couple times while they're coming in, because they'll start to bleed out. So you hit them like one... Oh, I killed them. Damn it. Right here. There we go. Yeah, right there. Come back. He died. Come on. Bait him in. But, did you see how I backed off right here? And there was a... They kind of did a U-turn and pulled back. So, there's like this uh, invisible line right here that uh, comes out from the safe zone. So, if I'm, a, uh, if I'm standing right here, I can, I can tag them. Yeah, these guys are over here farming. But, uh, I mean, you can take... I don't want to kill them. You can have it. Yeah, so... They'll just kind of turn around and run away. So you don't have to uh, worry about getting them bum-rushed by uh, a bunch of verlocs. Tag them. They'll come in in a big old flock. Uh, back up behind that point. They'll do like a U-turn and start to run back out into the swamp. But as long as you put rounds into them, they'll start to bleed out. So as they're coming in, tag them you know, a couple times. Let them bleed. When they get in close, then hit them. And you always want to try to hit them in the eyeball. Like, just a couple hits in the eyeball, and they're down. 
especially if you're dealing with shelled verlocs out in uh, Tunguska, you need to make eyeball shots on them things, because... Oh, crap. Did I run the wrong way again? I did. I ran into the spiders. Don't run this way. Yeah, we gotta run this way. Not through the anomaly, though. I think I'm gonna die. Not paying attention. Alright. There we go. We're good. Hey, just take a look at that. Come on. This is the most annoying thing about spiders. It's the only reason I have a Glock is, you know, they're little spiders. I mean, besides small spiders, I mean, I think handguns are kind of a waste of, you know, waste of uh, carrying weight. But uh, that concludes Magic Swamps. Come back over here and talk to this guy, and that's that. Okay, no silver. Only usual monsters in dialogue. What you get off of that? XP, rep. Uh, 4,000 rubles on that one. So if you're looking for, if you're new and you need money, you can throw it down into the rotation. All right. Let's see here. So we did Magic Swamps and Emirac. We did Dirty Yuri. We did Grishkovich. Uh, we did the Backpack Quest. Some other ones. I can't go to Science Lab right now. But, uh, I mean, we'll just stop it right there because I don't feel like making another two-hour video. So, till next time, guys. Maybe I can, uh, like I said, hope I can get some guys together. We'll go do SpiderCon. We'll do some, uh, some fun stuff. Maybe I'll tag along with some of the guys and do some clan fights. But that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.